Uh, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Dark Souls 3. Finally out today. Actually released uh, a little bit early on Steam. A little bit earlier than I thought it would. The release date is like Tuesday the 12th and today's like Monday the 11th. I don't even know what the date is today. I think it's the 11th. Yeah, it's the 11th. I knew it. That was right. Usually Steam games come out uh, like, I don't know, 10 p.m.-ish my time Monday into the afternoon on Tuesday. But this one came out a little bit earlier, so... Gives me a little bit of extra time to record and try and get stuff up. I don't know if videos will go up uh, this very day, but at the very least, it'll probably go up tomorrow. Tuesday release day. Whatever day you're seeing this on. Welcome to Dark Souls 3. I don't really have much to say besides that. Uh, I'd probably talk more when the game actually starts, but if you're one of the cool kids, you probably have already played this game. Either through a review copy or one of the... Uh, not really sure. One of the workaround ways to unlock it. I know a lot of people were able to unlock it a little bit early, but I waited. I waited for the PC version to release because, well, I... I mean, as much as I like the Souls games, I really don't like playing... I really don't like playing the Souls games at, like, I don't know, 25 frames per second or less in some areas. I'm looking at you, Blight Town. So I'm hoping that the PC version will at least have a decent frame rate. It usually does. Usually has a decent frame yes, rate. Yes, indeed. So I'll shut up for this cutscene then. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth. The old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Alright, well, I guess that's our one cutscene for probably the next 30 hours or so. This game's usually not two cutscenes. Well, I guess besides the boss cutscenes, usually there's some some cutscenes with the uh, the bosses, but you know what I mean. This game's usually not too cutscene heavy. 
What do we got? We got a nice night here. There's some other stuff I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember. I was too busy watching the cutscene. Oh, good, another name. I can't wait to have another terrible name. Changing your changing gender will reset certain changes. I think I'm just gonna be a male. I like playing guy characters. I'm a guy. Uh, I don't know who I should be young, matured, or aged. Has no effect. Can I take off my stuff? I don't want it. Well, I mean, I guess down here we can uh, see more of so what we look like, but. You know, whatever. Be young. Change a. We'll pick a class in, in a little bit. Burial, we'll pick that as well. In the not too distant future. Of course, my character creation is usually pretty underwhelming. Not that creative of a person, but I'm sure I have some strengths elsewhere. Yeah, it's okay. Oh my god! How does this guy even see? His eyes are like so tiny, and his eyebrow, like his his ridge of his eyebrows, like comes out, and his nose is pointing up too. I have no idea. Oh, he's a great swamp. I was about to say he looks like he lives in a swamp. This dude looks like he would come from the swamp world from uh, Demon Souls. And he just lives there. Oh my god. Some of these faces are just absolutely horrific already. This guy looks like me. I'm pretty certain I'm about that pale. Maybe a little paler, I'm not sure. But yeah, usually my character creation is pretty underwhelming. Not very creative with it. Nor do I really want to spend a whole lot of time, you know tweaking the face of this guy can sit on top of that like we're hardly gonna see this dude all game like he's gonna be wearing a helmet or a hat of some sort it's pretty much gonna obstruct his face anyway hey let's be this guy this guy looks pretty uh this guy looks like he'd be pretty sarcastic if you know he got to say anything all game so we'll go with uh Karim novice the face of a cheerless cleric of Karim novice is used as something of a derogatory term for men of the cloth well I guess we, uh, already starting off kind of bad there. Already being called bad names by the game, I guess. Here's my build. Standard, slim, very slim, burly, very burly. Burly upper body, burly lower body. Small head, large head. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to go with. We can be very burly. We can be pretty bulky this game. I wish they had, like, a fat guy. You could play a fat guy. I, mean, I guess very burly is the best you can do, and he's still, like, jacked out of his mind. Even the slim guys are, like, super skinny jacked. It doesn't even matter. All these guys are just jacked. It doesn't matter what body shape they have. It's just different variations of jacked. Just be very burly. I'm gonna be very burly. Here's my appearance. Gender, age, voice. Ooh, voice. How do I, uh, here we go. Oh, that was pretty brutal. Man, these are... <laughs> Man, this makes me feel bad for this character already. Here, let's go with aged. Be a young dude with an aged voice. I don't know how that works. Physique? Musculature? We can be... St oh my god, you can be like... What do you mean standard? You can be jacked or like ultra jacked. Here, let's go with ultra jacked. Body hair? You pretty much have no body hair, or you're, like, kind of moving into bear territory here. A little bit. Let's be thick. I'm going to be a manly man this game. Oh, here's our skin tone. Kind of like the... Kind of yellowy. Like, this guy looks like he has jaundice. He's kind of, like, yellowy. Now he's, like, pitch black oil, like, oil slick black. Crazy. Crazy option. Of course, you can always, you know, tweak it till your heart's content. What do we want? Here, let's uh, let's tweak a little bit. Can we be blue? We can be a blue dude. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. We changed by 10. One, two. Oh, we can be extra blue. Look at this dude. I wish I knew what one of the names of, like, the blue man group guys. I don't even know if they have names. Well, I mean, they really, they actually have names, of course, but I mean, like, in the group, if, if they go by any names, you know. I don't know much about the Blue Man group. This is, like, absolutely disgusting. I think I'm just going to go with the kind of default, kind of default one. 
I might, I might change my mind though. I might change my mind. Oh, base skin color and there's like different different layers of skin color. Oh, we got similar faces here. Let's see if. Oh man, look at this guy. This guy looks angry and like determined. He knows what game he's in. He's like, fuck. I'm in Dark Souls. Let's go with this guy. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking the saved favorites and whatever. I want to make a. I think I'm gonna make a blue guy actually. What shade of blue? I don't want a bright blue. I don't. I don't want like pitch black either. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's go with this right here. Where's my hair? I need to change some hair here. It's got to be under appearance, right? Face detail. Oh, here it is. What is this? Face shape. Hair. Oh, here we go. Let's see what kind of hair we got. Be a nice blue guy. Maybe bald. What kind of hair should we have? We can have male hair. We can have female hair. Doesn't matter. We can have the kind of. Well, it's kind of like the mo haircut. Oh, here's like the ultra mo haircut. Kind of like the old timey monk haircut. All right, let's let's go with that. What, what kind of hair? How about white? White would be nice, right? That'd be a good a good hair color. But we gotta have some bushy eyebrows. It doesn't even matter. My my hairline is gonna cover up my eyebrows anyway. Or I just don't have eyebrows with this guy. It doesn't even matter really. I don't want a beard. I mean, this guy, he's all right. Pupils, can't even see his eyes, doesn't even matter. Got tattoos. I think I'm pretty good with this. Is there anything else I wanted to change? Not quite sure. I mean, I've already spent about 20 times longer on character creation than I thought I would, which is pretty sad, considering I, you know, in, this, in the grand scheme of things, I haven't spent that much time on it at all. Here, let's go, uh, we're gonna be good old Papa Smurf. I have to, like, maneuver my arms around a bunch of random shit, so it's gonna be a little bit slow typing there. I got a mic in front of me and a drink and the keyboard's a little bit further away, so a little bit of reaching. So here, we're gonna play the great Papa Smurf. Terrible hair. He's blue. It's about as creative as I can get. I really hope this doesn't just like all right. Oh no no. Okay, I almost I almost fucked up pretty bad. What class do we want to be? We can be a knight, an obscure knight of poor renown who collapsed roaming the land, sturdy owing to high vitality and stout armor. It's probably fat rolls right off the bat. I don't know if I want to be a knight. Mercenary veteran of battlefield, high dexterity, allows you to uh, dual wield scimitars. I mean, I'm probably gonna go with like standard kind of warrior or knight kind of thing. That's usually what I like to play as. I generally don't deviate too much. We can play as a deprived. That would be fucking. The beginning of the game would be a little bit harder. That would suck, considering this will be blind. I should mention that unlike uh, most of the other Souls games that I've done or attempted to do on the channel, this one will be pretty much blind, like Dark Souls 2 was. Bloodborne, I knew what I was doing. Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls, I knew what I was doing. Demon Souls, I had a decent idea what I was doing. Dark Souls 2 in this game, though, I have no idea what I'm getting into in the beginning. What is Warrior? High strength to wield a heavy battle axe. Starts off as level 7. Pretty good Vigor. I think Vigor is your health and Vitality is like your equipment load. I'm sure I'll figure that out. Ooh, pretty good strength. Kind of low dex. Lux in this game? Oh, great. The Lux stat is back. What game has the Lux stat been in? I think just Demon Souls. I think Demon Souls might have been the only game with a Lux stat. I don't think any of the other ones had it. Luck is usually garbage, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Thinking Warrior. High strength. Kind of uh, kind of worried about the decks being a little low, but I have no idea what weapon I'll want to use uh, off the start. Why, why is the image, like, frozen over there? Like, I feel like it should update. 
Cause like I picked a different class, right? You think you think the armor would update and be like, hey? Cause I'm pretty sure Deprived doesn't start as like a full-on knight. So I'm not sure what's going here. Let's pick uh, let's pick Warrior. I think Warrior is the one I want. High strength, pretty decent health. It looks like attunement and magic is pretty much dirt low. A little bit of luck. Who's lucky? Cleric is the luckiest one, followed by Sorcerer. Oh wait, no, Thief's the luckiest one. That makes sense though. Figure a thief would have a lot of luck. All right, let's just go warrior. Let me make sure that's actually what I... All right, burial gift. Well, we can start with none. Life ring uh, raises maximum HP probably by like a tiny bit. Probably get like 20 health off of that. Divine blessing. Looks like you get like a full, uh, full on healing item. Holy water fully restores FP. No idea what FP is. A uh, nice fire bomb. Material used to upgrade to fire weapons. A sovereignless soul used. Oh, so you can get you can get a little a soul bonus, a soul bonus, a soul bonus. I wanted that same O sound to keep going on. I guess young white branch. Love young white branches. Can be used to blend into environment, but only once. Sounds like the item in Dark Souls 2 that turned you into like boxes and barrels or some shit. Oh, we can invade people. I don't think I've ever invaded someone during a recording. I'd probably just get slammed into the ground and killed immediately. I don't know. I mean, Sovereignless Soul gives you, I don't know, who knows how many level ups. Like, you might get, like, one level up off of this. Probably gives you, like, a thousand souls or some something that's not super great. The Sovereignless Soul of one who slept beside you? That's a little, uh... It's a little weird. Life Ring's probably not too great. Hidden Blessing could be okay for like a one-off heal. Rusted Gold Coin, eh. Don't feel like invading people. That's probably mad for me too. I feel like it's probably going to be the Sovereignless Soul. Or maybe this Life Ring. You know, the, the extra health might help a little bit. The extra level ups might help a little bit early on too. But, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to think. I think I'm gonna go with the life ring. I'm gonna pick the life ring. Life ring's probably garbage. I swear to God, it's gonna be like extra trash, and it's gonna suck. Kind, I'm kind of thinking maybe get the sovereignless soul and get you know, a couple maybe a level or two off of it. But eh, let's go with the life ring. Fuck it. I think Papa Smurf is done here. I don't think that's the correct uh, armor. Wait, no, I don't want to change it. I don't think that's the correct armor that I'll spawn in at. Spawn in with, but... I'm not sure what I fucked up. I can't even, like, rotate anything either. Like, this is... That little image over there is just frozen for one reason or another. I'm either an idiot or I fucked it up. Whatever. I think we're good. The whole first video is just going to be, like, character creation and garbage. Terrible.